welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is illustrating the types of error, the level of significance alpha, and of course, the rejection region in hypothesis testing. Okay, so there are two types of error, type 1 error when we reject the null hypothesis when it is true. Take note of that, we reject the null hypothesis when it is true also called the alpha error that is the alpha error and then type 2 when we accept the null hypothesis when it is false the first one when it is true the second one when it is false and we call this one as the beta error okay what is this level of significance the level of significance is the probability of committing type 1 error or the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true. Take note, this one is, of course, under type 1. The choice for the value of the significance level is determined by the researcher. So it depends upon you. You may choose 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 because these are the most commonly used levels of significance. Okay. Rejection region. The rejection region or critical region is the set of all values of the test statistics. We will be solving this test statistics that cause us to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. The non-rejection region or acceptance region is the set of all values of the test statistic that causes us to fail to reject the null hypothesis. Take note of this. This one is rejection region or critical region and this one is the non-rejection region now critical value what is this it is a standard score in a sampling distribution that marks the boundary between the rejection region and the non-rejection region so these are of course the one tailed and two tailed 0 0.01 level of significance and of course 0 0.05 for one tailed we have two positive and negative 2.33 using of course the normal curve or the z distribution and then for 0 0.05 we have positive negative 1.645 so this is 0 0.05 significant level this one is for two tailed positive negative 2.575 and then positive negative 1.96 let us illustrate this rejection region this is the decision rule reject null hypothesis if the computed test statistic is less than or equal to negative critical value or if the computed test statistic is greater than or equal to positive critical value we have here the positive and negative critical value of of course 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 level now accept null hypothesis if the computed test statistic is greater than negative critical value or if the computed test statistic is less than positive critical value let us illustrate it number one the given now hypothesis is 50 of course its alternative will be is not equal to 50 the given test statistic is 1.45 let us compare 1.45 to its critical level so the critical level is positive or negative 1.96 of course 1.45 is less than 1.96 or it's negative that will be it's 1.45 is greater than negative 1.96 okay so is this accepted or rejected so we can say that it falls under accept, accept the null hypothesis. This one is the null hypothesis. If the computed test statistic is greater than negative critical value or if the computed test statistic is less than the critical value. So this one is less than the critical value. Therefore, this one is accepted. Example okay. number two, we have the null hypothesis is 50. Of course, its alternative will be is not equal to 50. The min is not equal to 50. The test statistic is negative 2.15. Let us compare it with the critical value, the negative. So this one is less than 
negative 1.96. So, it falls under this one, this decision rule. So, therefore, this one is rejected. The null hypothesis, the null hypothesis is rejected. Here, the null hypothesis is accepted. What about its rejection region? Of course, the rejection region will be this one. Example 3. Our null hypothesis is mean is equal to 50 and our alternative is mean is greater than 50. If we'll take a look at this, this one is a one-tailed test. So, let us give the, or get rather, the test statistic value that is 1.82 and let us compare it with the positive one that is 1.82 is less than 1.96. So, this falls under accepted again. So, the null hypothesis, the null hypothesis is accepted. Why? Because it says here, the computed test statistic, this one, is less than the positive critical value. The critical value is 1.96. Now, what is our rejection region? So, our rejection region will be this one. Okay, so this is the area in which the null hypothesis is, of course, active. So, number four, our null hypothesis is the mean population is 50, and alternative, the mean population is less than 50. Again, this one is a one-tailed test. So, the test statistic value is negative 2.01. Let us compare it to its critical. This one is greater than negative 2.33. So, where is that? computed test statistic is greater than the negative critical so therefore the null hypothesis is again accepted now what is the rejection region now of number four so the rejection region since this one is negative 2.01 is greater than negative 2.33 so this area this region is accepted, therefore the rejection re region will be this one. Okay.